Hey beautiful people, how you doing? My name is Michelle. Let's get right into this reading for Aquarius placements. Let's see for Aquarius spirit, angels, and ancestors, a clear and accurate message. I hope you all are doing well and wishing you all the very, very best. Happy midweek. <laughs> I hope your week has been going well so far. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Personal readings are available, Aquarius, if you're interested. That information can be found below, as well as the link to the membership. Let's see. So the first card we have here is New Beginnings. Nice energy. And we have Healing. I knew this was going to come out because we've had those two moons. Okay, we had those two moons and, um, you know, it talks about our feelings, it talks about healing, it talks about what's been hidden within. We're literally walking through a portal here to a brand new beginning. We've been healing, processing, going through different stages, um, which have been very helpful for us, okay? Um, it looks like somebody may have, like, you know, some type of altar. There's also the energy here where um, we are recovering. Not only are we recovering, we are, I feel this healing with herbs and spices and earthly energy is what I'm getting off of the healing card. Um, maybe we have an altar with candles. But yeah, we're, we're being cracked open in a way that you know, we're going through this portal, we're going through a rite of passage, okay? For some of us, this is like some kind of deep healing. For some of us, we may have been doing some cord cutting, or we may have been um, healing physically, emotionally, mentally, all right? But we're moving towards new beginnings. Like I said, this is where we're headed. All right, so let's see. Okay, nine of wands reverse. I feel this energy of surrender with the nine of wands reversed. Wow. Okay. So there's some type of offer that's coming in for us, Aquarius, with the Knight of Cups. Uh, it could be a love offer that's um, coming through, but this could also be, you know, any offer that makes us feel good emotionally. We may have um, been waiting on some type of offer here and it's coming through for us. The Page of Wands reversed with the Seven of Pentacles. It looks like we've changed our mind or, yeah, we changed our mind about something that we have been investing in or we've been waiting on the results of. With judgment here and the nine of wands reverse, I'm definitely getting something about some sort of surrender here. The action that we're taking. We're not fighting against the uh, the the energy anymore. We're kind of surrendering, especially with the uh, the hangman. Let's see, why is this knight of cups here? Definitely some type of offer coming in. Let's see. Knight of Cups for Aquarius placements. What's this about? Oh, the star. <laughs> nice energy. Okay. So there's an offer coming in that could potentially uh, be a wish come true for us with the star here. Um, there's definitely someone, a people card here, 
offering you up something that is like what you've been wanting, what you've been wishing for, what you've been um, hoping for here. What is this uh, Nine of Wands reverse about? For Aquarius, what's the Nine of Wands reverse about? Oh, the King of Cups. You know what's interesting about this King of Cups? It has the card with the heart on it at this person's foot. <clears throat> this is uh, like emotional maturity when it comes to this healing. Um, there's emotional maturity here. And again, it's like um, surrendering whatever has been hard, nine of wands, whatever has been frustrating, nine of wands. Okay. It's handling it in a mature way. Okay, there's this energy here with the healing and the nine of wands reverse and the king of cups. It's like someone is handling this very well. They're making um, some type of uh, judgment call here. Wow. And we have the ace of sword so this is getting the clarity that you need to make some sort of decision so literally we may be um, severing some ties like I mentioned something about cord cutting some kind of uh, healing technique has been taken place here with the judgment some things may have come up that have been frustrating and we're surrendering all, severing ties with what we don't want and we're handling this um, in a very upright and mature way, emotionally mature way. We may not even be, uh, you know, telling a whole lot of people or anything like that, but there's something here about um, I see is what I'm getting as well. All right, so there's some clarity here. Um, there's severing of old things, old ties, and move, moving into this new beginning. Let's see, why is the Page of Wands reversed? Why is the Page of Wands reversed for Aquarius? Oh, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, taking your power back, feeling very confident, and moving in a very bold way, okay? You're not going to be making small steps. You're making huge leaps and bounds here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very bold and courageous and doesn't care about what anyone else has to say about the actions that they are taking. All right, this is also a very, you know, kind of witchy energy. Somebody is manifesting what they want. <clears throat> this could even be like the healing bowl, <laughs> okay? It's like someone is taking action on their own behalf here, and I feel like your guides have been helping you. Okay, there's luck on your side here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? So somebody is having an overhaul, okay? Oh. The Page of Cups reversed with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Cups reversed could talk about no love for the bullshit or <clears throat> not investing in things that you're not emotionally uh, feeling fulfilled with. Okay, with the Page of Cups reversed. Oh, wow. And then we get justice with the hangman and the four of wands wanted to come out with the justice card okay so this fast forward movement energy here okay with the knight of swords there's some really fast uh energy that is taking place but with the new beginning and the hangman is something that is being made right being made just being made fair um with the justice here it could talk about 
um, needing to have balance. You may be even um, dealing with some sort of um, contract here, okay? With justice, it could be a government contract or some type of licensure. But justice, it means that something is being made right for you. Um, and like I mentioned, there's some type of offer that is a part of your wish fulfillment, is something you've been hoping for. Okay. <clears throat> and the Four of Wands here talks about the goals that you are attaining. It also talks about, um, you know, having something to celebrate, which is awesome. So you're being moved to, um, through this portal here, there's a rite of passage, um, and it's... It's justice for you. Let's see. What does the four of wands represent? This is like really good energy. It's balanced. It's, um, like I said, something to celebrate. But it's stability here as well. Oh, three of pentacles. So there's expansion. There's a leg up here. The three of pentacles is teamwork makes the dream work. When we talk about money, this is expansion, this is success. And the three of cups again. So this is celebrating again, okay? Now, in all of this, with the healing, of course, there may have been something that we really needed to make up our mind and do with the eight of cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles could be a little bit, you know, it needs, whatever this is that's taking place, it needs to be um, planned well. And I feel that you have some type of support here helping this plan come together. Um, the Knight of Pentacles can also talk about, you know, calculated energy here. Getting your goals in the way that you truly want it. Yeah, something is coming to an end. Now, for others of you, there's this opportunity to start working on something online. You may be doing an LLC or you could be working a certain platform. You could be getting things in order. You may be receiving help regarding getting things in order for this particular platform, this particular thing you're going to be doing. Some of you, you're going to be um, seen in the public doing something. Uh, this could be literally somebody is on stage performing. Someone is performing from, you know, their home base and other people see them, support them. There's going to be something to celebrate here. There's some type of good news coming in. Um, the page of wands here in the reverse, it talks about bad news, but with the queen of wands um, coming out over it, somebody is turning things around like there, there's an overturn. Yeah, something is being overturned on your behalf is what I see. And it may not be with the people that you thought that it would be with, with the page of cups reverse. Because again, I'm getting no love with the page of cups reverse. So you may be severing ties with um, people, places, and things that, you know, didn't show you this kind of love and support, like the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like, here you go. How you doing, Aquarius? Hey, I'm offering you this. It's something that you've been wanting. There's some type of order that's taking place so that you can um, go through this rite of passage. Like I mentioned, this is a portal you're going through, the new beginnings. Okay, so this is really good energy. Let's just bring out one more after the uh, new beginnings here. Okay, yeah, courage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is that Queen of Wands energy, right? The Queen of Wands, like I mentioned, is very bold. It's taking action. It's um, helping the will turn. Like you having the willpower, the strength, and the courage to 
take on this new beginning, to push through this new portal and get order, okay? So there's some type of order that's happening here. And so when we're in this frequency, it's like the universe with this justice, this could be universal order, especially with the hangman here. This is something you've been waiting on, but it's like the spirit guide source is directing your steps and putting order. Some type of order is taking place here. It's good. The three of cups, this is something that you'll be celebrated, okay? I feel like there's... A couple of people who support you here with the Three of Cups. You can see these are like three friends, three sisters, three brothers, three siblings, three family members, three friends. Okay, social likes. They're helping, you know, celebrate you. There's also the energy here of networking, teamwork, making the dream work. Some of you may be... Um, getting a mentor teaching you how to take your power back mm -hmm. um an actual teacher a guide a mentor all right something has trained you up well but i feel this energy here that you had to surrender fighting against it and now you're making the right decision with clarity to serve your ties but what no longer serves you because there are no limitations there's nothing that's holding you back Yeah, your soul is calling you to do something and it all has to do with this personal growth along with uh, this love partnership. But you know, love is a huge umbrella. It doesn't only talk about relationships romantically. It talks about people, places and things that embrace us and lift us up, encourages us, support, right? A kind helping hand, a kind gesture. This is the energy here of you um, feeling some kind of way where there was healing that needed to take place so that you could walk through this new portal with bravery and courage, Aquarius. That's what I see. All right. I want to get an angel card and just see which angels are supporting you here. And then we're going to close this out. Let's see. What angels are coming up for Aquarius? I also feel this energy, right? The portal was open. Okay, but it's free will to walk through it. I feel that somebody is getting their stamina back. They're, they got their oomph. They got their strength. They got, you know, their courage. And Spirit is saying, don't hold yourself back. Walk through the portal. Um, and the universe is going to help create order in your life in some way. Turning things around. Something is being overturned for you. Some of you, this could be actual court. Okay? If you have something going on. When it pertains to, I don't know, a housing um, place or your foundation in regards to your temple, right? Um, your home could be your temple. Okay, your inner, your inner body. Okay, something is being, um, there's assistance here with that as well. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, all of the things. So balance is super important. Utilizing the people around you who support you and help you and lift you up is also important here. Which you already know that. You're severing ties. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. You're severing ties with this Ace of Swords here. You have clarity. So we have the Six of Wands. Wow. So we know that in the Tarot, the Six of Wands is victory, success. We know that the Six of Wands is in tarot, recognition, reward, you winning a battle. It is also that Leo energy, having courage, having strength, right? Having fortitude, persevering, not giving up. So this uh, angel here is the angel 
Sahiya, and it states longevity and protects against infirmitites. I don't know what that is. I feel like that's um, enemies, germs, anything that can harm you, you're being protected and kept um, so that you can have longevity, so that you can have um, long-term income, long-term health, long-term, your long-term goals, anything that has to do with the big picture and the long term of things. Let's get the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure what this infirmites mean. Oh, wow. And then we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is awesome. This is a new feeling, a new sensation. And there it is. There's the Ten of Pentacles right there. But yeah, the Ace of Cups is a new feeling in the Ace. Um, in the Tarot, it's a new feeling. It's a new emotional state of being. <clears throat> it's new love. It's healing. And it's self-love and self-care. So this angel here is literally bringing you rejuvenation. This angel um, exclaims that you can obtain the mercy of God and gives long life. Wow, so we just talked about longevity and now we're talking about long life. Like I mentioned, anything that is long term. So if you've been fighting some sort of illness or if you've been fighting some type of um, angst, some type of pain, fighting to cut cords with, um, like I said, with that no love energy, fighting in regards to getting you know, getting the reins and overturning some things and creating order, it's going to be a long-term um, thing. And, you know, having the support long-term, having this uh, happy-go-lucky energy one step at a time, though, but it is available for you to have long-term progress, long-term recognition, rewarding success is here for you. All right. I, I do feel that there's some kind of help when it comes to the judicial system as well. But this is what we have. In